Hi, I'm Nadia Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can link one of your player location to all the players that is connected to your server. So without any further ado, let's begin. So in here, for example, we have two clients that is connected to this server like this. <laughs> okay, I didn't find a better way to explain everything to you. So one of the client sending it, it's X and Y data. Okay, X and Y. And I will call this client client. Okay, so this one is client and this one, for example, we call it host. Okay, what this host is doing is just getting the X and Y of this client and it doesn't have a player in it for no so one client hosts the game and other clients connect to that server and the, that server that that host created okay and all the clients sending their x and y location to that server and this host get all of those information and of course this host can have a player as well but for simplicity we want to just create a player in here and sync it up in the host the server that the host is creating this is my third time that i'm recording this video so i i want i wanted to explain everything clearly because it's getting too complicated too fast so I record it again and again and again to uh, make it as simple as possible so because I don't have two computer to test it on I, I want I just create two projects one for client and one for the host and I create the server on my local host okay so with that you can see I have a host and I have a client and if you follow my playlist of videos about multiplayer game you know that by now how you can send data and how you can receive data okay and we have a server that wherever we send something to this server on uh, on port 8088 it sent back message has received you remember that from the last videos so i assume that you know everything about sending and receiving so i want to use that first of all in this create event of our player that we want to sync its location right we create a udp socket we connect to um, a uh, connected to our server on localhost on a on port 8080 like we create our server in here okay next we create a buffer and you know all everything about it and in a step event every frame we send the data to our server like this okay i don't want to send i am navid i want to send the location of the player so let's find out how we can do that first we should go to create and in here i want to create a variable call it data and create a ds map with it okay so ds map create okay so with that we create a ds map why i'm using ds map you can use list you can do whatever you want you can send whatever you want to your server because game maker has map and node.js has map as well of course both of them has a lot of things that you can use but i found that map is the best way to do it it's it's easiest way to do it because you can convert this map to json and, and decode it back to map very easily in node.js and game maker in both of them i will show you how you can do that so with this we create our ds map okay we create our map and in a step event first of all what i'm gonna do i want to set the x location of this player to mo6 okay and the y location to most y and with that if you run our game it's just the player we will follow over most like this okay and now i want to send this uh, location to our server but before that we should add it to our map because we want to send our map right so for that we say ds map add the idea of the map that we want to add value to it is data right that we create in is create event and after that we need a key and a value the key i want it to be x because we want to send the x location of our player and the value i want it to be most x or x or whatever next i want to add y as well so let's just copy and paste this in here change this to y and everything should work fine and no the data map has x and value of our most or the location of our player and next i want to create a variable i want to call it data json equal i want to convert this data that is a map to a json so what we can do i can say json encode the data that is a map so with this function we convert the data that is a map to a json that is a string <laughs> so now we have our json all the data that x and y value is in this json now we can clear our map because in the next frame we want to do it again okay so for that we say ds map clear and the id is data so with that we clear it now instead of this sending i am navid i want to send this data json okay 
data json and the type of the buffer i want to be text because we don't want any terminating character at the end of this json that is a string right we don't want that so we should use buffer text if you didn't set buffer text in here it will give you an error in node.js side next in this sending ip is okay because we want to use local host so this ip is okay the port that i want to use is this 8080 okay so let's just say 8080 in here for port and the important part in here is this in here and instead of just setting 100 in here you know when you set say 100 in here it's sending the data and whatever space that is remaining remaining from this 100 it sends 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 okay and it won't work for us why because the json have a structure it has the rules that we should follow and if we set 000, 0, 0 in all the spaces that is remaining it give us an error so what we can do about we can use this function buffer tell okay and we can give it the player buffer in here and what it does is just sending our data not all of all of those zeros okay and if you want to read about this buffer tell just hit the middle mouse on it and read about its dead document in in documentation of game maker right now everything is set up and with this we should be able to send the json file or map file map variable to a node.js server so everything is okay here so let's just go to our server and first thing i want to comment this out okay because i don't want to send back anything i just want to show the message that is coming to this server that is on port 8080 to the screen okay with this console.log the string of this message that is coming okay let's just clear this here and i want to say note server head tap it, it will find it for you and enter and note the server is running let's just go back to our client again run our game to see if data is going to our server or not okay so you can see it says zero zero for now everything is going through as planned and and in here when i change my uh, the location of the player or change the location of our mouse you can see it in bottom left corner it's telling you the x and y location of a player to in the server and you can see it clearly next thing that i want i want to show you i want to show you how you can use this message let's just stop our server in here let's just clear this with saying clear and no we know this message is a json let's just tear it apart and get that x and y value of our player let me show you how you can do that because we encode that to the json in game maker okay we did it in here okay it's no a string so we should parse it in our node.js server the parse function in node.js it's exactly like json decode in game maker and i will show you how you can use that json decode in game maker as well but let's just do it in here first for that i want to create a variable in here like we do it in game maker we can just say var data and that's all we need to do and in here i want to say data is equal to json uppercase just remember it's uppercase dot parse okay and with that we can parse this message let's just copy and paste it in here and it will parse it now instead of just showing all the JSONs, i want to just show you the x value so let's just cut this and paste it in here and instead of uh, showing the message instead of that i want to say data.x and let's see if it's working or not okay so run our server and our game and no let's just run our game in here to see if the json is going through or not the x is zero and if we change our um, the location of our player you can see it's just showing the x value and you can get the x and y or whatever you want to put in this map in here whatever you want to put in here you can get it in server for example let's just copy and paste this okay and now i want to send the id of this player okay and in here we say id as well okay we want to send the id the key is id and the value is the id itself now let's just run it again and go to our server in here Control c to stop the server now i want to show the id in here we just say show the id okay console.log with this string we convert this data.id to a string because the id i think it's a real number it's an integer number right so with that we convert this data.id and I, I i don't think that i save it so control s to save it and now let's just run our game and now you can see it's just showing us the id of our player and you can see it it's 100,000. Oh, yeah so let's just show you all the data that is coming in here and instead of this we say msg for message again in here control c to stop the server and run our game and you can see it's sending x id and y and you can get those data in node.js okay 
So what whatever we put in this map, we it automatically send it to our server, and we just this saying. Let's just stop this in here. Okay, it's just stop. In here, we say data.id and it will get that ID. If you say data.y, it get the Y location. It, if you say data.x, it get the X location. You know that I think this video is taking 80 minutes for me to record. And I recorded three times to be as simple as possible to show you how you can send a JSON data to as a Node.js server. I don't want to make it too long. Sorry about that. I'm creating a lot of videos for explaining one thing to you. It's just because I want to tell you everything in a step by step in details as much simple as possible for you to learn it in details. I hope you like this video and you learn from it. In the next video I will talk about how you can send the X and Y to all the clients that is connected to this server. And after that I will show you how you can host the game, how you can join a game and how you can sync everything between all the players out there. Please, if you want, if you want me to continue this kind of video about multiplayer game in Game Maker and Node.js, please leave it in comments so I know and hit that like button, please, that, for me to know that you like this stuff. And because I'm using Node.js, I don't know that all of you want to learn this Node.js side or not. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.